Hello, my name is Andrew Camparelli. I'm the captain of the recreated 124th New York reenacting organization based out of Richmond, Virginia. And today I'm going to have two of my uh, soldiers talk a little bit about the equipment and the uniform of a basic soldier here at 1864 because we are here at Pamplin Park for the day. Purple Harrow, take control. Yes, sir. Private Halboro, two steps forward. Watch. Private Al Burl here is the average Union soldier. He is wearing a kepi or a forge cap like mine with a core badge. He's wearing a frock coat. I'm wearing a fatigue blouse. These are different types of coats that you would have. This strap holds his cartridge box, which is on his hip right here, and he has a plate right here. This helps weighs it down so that way the flap doesn't flap open and you lose all your ammunition. Also here, we have a canteen that holds a quart of water. We have a haversack that holds food and other necessities needed for uh, life and survival in the army. This is all combined with a cap pouch for his musket and his belt, which also holds a scabbard for his bayonet. You'll see various uniforms in the Civil War, but most of them follow this normal trend by the frock coat of the fatigue blouse. Now his weapon is a model 1861 Springfield musket. This is a mass-produced weapon in 58 caliber that shoots a Minier ball. This is a cap lock. That is why he requires a cap to shoot it. It is a muzzle-loading weapon that was made in the hundreds of thousands. That is it. And then, on the other side of things, we have the officer, which would wear mostly what they wear. Similar to the private here, I am also wearing a frock coat. It is a private purchase frock coat that I may have picked up in New York City. It, um, because officers are a little more fluid in what they get to wear, they wear the baseline of what you see, but they purchase it themselves, therefore they get to add special things such as as you can see my captain shoulder boards um i also have velvet on my collars and or on my collar and my cuffs just little different things that i can throw into my uniform just to show that i am an officer now by the time we get to 1864 a lot of officers will do away with the frock coats like i'm wearing and they will adopt a fatigue blouse similar to the one that the corporal is wearing over here. It uh, They'll just simply sew the ranks up top or put it on the collar. At this point, officers' ranks, uh, subdued ones, are starting to become more prevalent in the Union Army. Thank you.